this could not be right. That this, that basically it did not make any sense that I was supposed to die here in the rubble of Hotel Christopher, the name of the mission headquarters in Port-au-Prince. That simply, it just didn't make sense. I heard a loud, a loud sound. I mean, like, <clears throat> the next thing I remember is that I was lying on my back, pitch dark, and I had like kind of this much space on top of my nose, so it was not not particularly much space. And and was kind of saying, oh, oh, this is absolutely no good. I didn't have any notion of that I had fallen. I mean, mind you, I, I was on the third floor, and. Eventually, when I got out, I was on level minus one. So I had fallen like 30 feet, something like that. Despite like the five days I've done it, I mean, I've been shouting and screaming and, and shouting and I had never been hurt, but still, as long as there is life, as long as I had the strength, as long as I was breathing, I had to make the efforts. Done marvelous stuff. Yeah, the two more people stuck down there. Okay. Alive? Do you know? Did you speak to them? No, no, but I heard I heard the bombing. The, How long ago did you last hear them? Last time I heard some one was 36 to 48 hours ago. 36 to 48 hours ago was the last time you heard what was it? Was it tapping? Was it a voice? It was tapping. It was tapping. In relation to where you were, do you know what direction? Exactly. To the okay. So to your right. Also what made me survive the five days was that two of my colleagues I heard also. And we all three, you know, were making sounds, noise. I couldn't hear the shouting, but I could hear, you know, the the the, the noise, one of them was kind of, you know, kind of a a thumping sound in a sense like if she or he was lifting something and letting it fall and lifting and letting it fall and probably was trapped somehow and couldn't do more than that. Um, because that is part of the survival mode in a sense that never give up, retain hope, make the efforts. And then I heard someone shout down to me uh, if there's anybody there or whatever it was, something like that. And then I, I shouted back and, and shouted my name and shouted who I was and things like that. It was when I got out and they, when they briefed me on the scale, the magnitude, that I realized what really had happened. Over the days, I had lots of thought about dying, thinking about my family, that I, hadn't seen enough and, and maybe wouldn't see again. I think about my friends. And it never, it never entered my mind that I should not go back to work. And if there was any time ever to justify our presence in Haiti, that was at that point in time.